are going to go over the handout over um, what's happening to the demand for canned tuna. Um, we are shifting the whole entire curve because something else is happening besides a change in price. So as we e read each one of these, we're going to underline um, the situation that's taking place that's causing the change. And for each one of these, we're going to notice that a change in uh, the price of tuna is not one of the things that's changing because if that were the case, we wouldn't be changing demand. We'd be changing quantity demand and moving on the same in uh, the same exact curve. So for each one of these, we're going to be shifting the curve um, either to the right if it's an increase um, or to the left because it's a decrease. Um, so the first question, um, we have a situation where hamburger goes up by 20 cents a pound. So hamburger and tuna um, are substitutes. And so what we know for number one, um, if this is the price, um, our original price for tuna, um, and we see that the price of um, hamburger is going up 20 cents a pound. Our quantity demanded of hamburger is going to go down because these two things are substitute. So if we're buying less hamburger and we don't change the price of tuna, then tuna is more um, attractive to us uh, because it is the same price and it's not going up. So at that price, we now are willing and able to buy more. And even if the original price were higher, we're still going to be willing and able to buy more just because the price relative in hamburger. So we're going to create a whole entire new curve, and that is going to be our uh, new demand curve. <clears throat> so the next situation says that Mary sells um, 100 more cans of tuna a day at the start of the month and at the end of the month. Um, this probably happens because many retired people receive their incomes in a check at the beginning of the month. So we know that there's an increase um, in their income at the beginning of the month, so they're out buying a lot of stuff towards the end. Uh, some of them might not have as much money, so they're not able to buy as much at the end of the month. So um, because of an increase um, in income, and we are going to assume that tuna is a normal good. So what normally happens when your income goes up, we normally buy things um, or more things. So if this is the price always for tuna, and that's our quantity at that particular price, what we're saying at that price at the beginning of the month, we're willing and able to buy more, and we're willing and able at each one of those particular prices, so the whole entire curve has changed. Once again, we did not change the price of tuna, we changed something else changed the price of its substitute here, didn't change the price. We changed our income here because now we have a check at the beginning of the month. Um, so that's going to change. Um, not changing the price, so we're moving the whole entire curve as opposed to moving on the same curve. Um, the third one, for a few weeks after there was an article in the newspaper um, about the healthful effects of tuna, we're buying more. So this falls under that taste and preferences. We read something and we're older and it says that tuna is good for us and it's um, um, healthier than a lot of the other foods. Um, so that might cause some people to buy more. So at this price, what we're saying is that now I am willing and able to buy more just because of, uh, you know, the t my tastes have changed um, and I want to eat more health conscious. Uh, so here we have a whole new curve over here. <clears throat> Didn't change the price, something else took place. Uh, so number four, there was a truck driver strike and food deliveries were interrupted and she sold more, ca uh, Mary sold 100 cans more a day. So this kind of falls under that expectation. If you hear there's a f um, uh, going to be an interruption, you're going to run out and buy more things because there's this fear that later on you're not going to get your hands on it because they're not delivering it anymore. So not changing the price, so we're not moving on the same curve. If this is our price and this is our original quantity, what we're saying now is I better run out and get that. And we see these things take place. Think about when it snows. Um, everyone immediately runs out, um, buys all the bread, buys up all the milk um, for fear that they're not going to be able to get it. There's this expectation that I'm not going to get my hands on something that I want, so we're going to go and get that. And this is the same thing. We have a delivery truck strike. They may not be delivering. Who knows how long this might last, so I better stock up right now while I have an opportunity. So we're going to see a situation here where our um, demand for those particular things increase. So for these, all of them are increases. They're all shifting to the right. That's not going to be the case every time. So what you need to ask yourself anytime you do these, is this a change in price of tuna or is it a change in something else? For this one, the price of hamburger changed, but that changed our demand for tuna. In this situation, 
um, we had uh, our incomes increased at the beginning of the month. This one here, the health effects of it, and this one there's some expectations that we might not be able to get it when we need it, so we're going to go ahead and get those things today.